Hello everyone, welcome back to the Gaming Hangar and in today's video it's about Generation Zero New versus Old and New versus Old in terms of inventory uh, As you can guess, I will make a comparison between the classic inventory and the new one that was was introduced in the latest update, the anniversary or March update So let's start with the classic inventory uh, shall we okay let's press e key and this is the classic inventory from the generation zero and i think it was the compared to the new one uh, we will talk about that later this is the best inventory that i've seen in this game and as you can see you have a quick overview of all your very items and you can use for example drag and drop drag and drop uh, uh, items directly into the free slots or you can replace them or you can uh, replace them whatever you want so this is the main advantage of this inventory but also has a disadvantage because it's um, it's divided in cells has uh, you can carry a limited amount of items and weapons and that's it so you must be careful what you collect or your harvest from your enemies or from crates or box because you can fill it up very quickly and another thing is that in I will find this one much better than the new one I, I uh, we will talk about new one a new one in a few minutes I find it more uh, more user friendly why because for example if you are in the middle of a combat and for example you want to change the ammunition for your weapon just drag and drop the ammunition and voila uh, it changed the ammunition directly to your weapon and that's a very cool thing when you are in the middle of a combat and every uh, every second counts another thing is for example if you run run out of uh, medical uh, aid kit you can simply uh, press e key and drag and drop uh, directly on the slot that uh, you want to use them. That, that's the main advantage the only disadvantage that I find here is the a limited amount okay but i think uh, they should put a screw or something to to increase the the size of the inventory so uh, this is the classic inventory so uh, you will find this kind of uh, slot inventory in uh, all the up pre-updates from the 2019 from the first of uh, version of generation zero until the blessed i think alpine and rest the alpine and rest was the late last update from 2019 where you can find this inventory for the new inventory we will talk in a few seconds this the uh, that kind of inventory it's only presented in the last update in the anniversary version so let's go to the new one Okay, uh, and now I'm in the anniversary edition or update or let's call it March update. This is the last update, the first, I think, 2020 uh, version. And uh, developers have changed the inventory with the classic one with this one. And the problem is here that it's very, very messy. And I tell you why. For regarding the classic inventory, uh, here you have uh, icons for each type of items that you have in your inventory. You have for weapons, short weapons like experimental clock, okay, ammunition and different equipment, attachments, the, where the attachments are here uh, separately, even if they are attached to some of uh, your weapons you can find here with uh, if uh, the attachment is uh, attached to a weapon has this 
this white triangle uh, and also you have crafting resources and you can set the you can click the backpack and you'll see all the thing that you have things that you have in your backpack in your inventory the problem is here uh, that the developers have removed the drag and drop option and that's a big downgrade i told uh because for example in the classic inventory when you are in the middle of a fight you can just simply click i button and then you drag and drop the ammunition on your weapon for example or a health kit in a, in a empty slot but here for example if you are in the middle of battle you just click on your weapon that you want to change for example you run out of uh, you are run out of ammunition you just click the, uh, the weapon and then you click the attachments another uh, window will open and then you click ammo and another window will open and you know, click the ammunition and change it and that's three steps and this will take a few seconds a few precious seconds that can be the difference between life and death in a battle and that's that's a big disadvantage Another disadvantage is that, if, okay, I will I see here the weapons and here the explanation for each weapon. For example, I don't want to see so many explanations for that. I don't care. Uh, I want to see weapon. I want to see the, attach, the attachment, for example. I can now I use drop item uh, regarding the classic inventory when you drag and drop outside the inventory and uh, the uh, the item or the weapon was automatic drop now you can press now and and drop the item uh, outside your inventory or you can uh, for example you press clear slot and you can put another weapon in a slot for example uh, now uh, if you want uh, if you want to change your weapon it's much harder than in a previous version because you must to click the inventory must go to, for example, to the weapons. Uh, so it's another click, another wasted uh, second. And then, for example, choose uh, this one, for example, this Karen uh, Kever, and drag and uh, choose, click on it, and then press assign to slot. And you can choose from the first or second slot, uh, weapon slot. There is, for for example, I have the uh, experimental AG4, in, and I will press that, and it will take me another two or three seconds. And now you can see uh, the. No, no, uh, I I forgot to press. Okay, okay, you need to press also. I think okay, so let's assign to slot experimental and I think no it didn't change I don't know why okay let's try again let's try this one assign to slot okay now it changed okay so that's that's the way for and that's not very very uh, uh, it, it has a very big disadvantage because, for example, uh, this will take you very precious time to do that, and that's not okay because here is here, the, for example, it's everything, it's live action. So even you press escape, okay, even press your inventory, the game goes on and the enemies will attack you. So the game won't freeze if you press the inventory and change your weapon. It's up to you how fast you're dealing with that. And the thing is, you can see now, uh, you cannot you cannot see what kind of weapon you have in any of your slots you can see all the weapons that you have in your inventory but you will you don't see the weapon in each slot for example now this experimental pvg19 it's on weapon slot 2 that means it's the two the second key and now let's put that in the first one okay and now escape and 
here it is well uh, another thing is for example if you want to set this ammo pack to a specific slot you just go here press ammo pack assign to slot and select the four five six or seven key that you want for example to six key and then escape and now if you go to the six key it will charge it will load your uh, uh, weapon pack well this is very bad because this is a very very complicated type of inventory but also has an advantage yes it has an advantage and i show you why the only the only advantage that has is that this kind of inventory is unlimited compared to the last one that has a limited amount of cells or slots where you can insert items this is based on the weight on the weight so the maximum weight you see is 80 per 80 i don't know kilograms pounds or whatever doesn't matter it's 80 and now the my current weight is 52 out of weight out of 80 and uh, the only thing is but that most players they have complained in the last versions that the inventory was very limited they send feedback to the developers to change that to make uh, an increased inventory and the, the instead of uh, making a screw or something in the classic inventory the developers in the latest update the anniversary bank came came with this this very complicated inventory type and that's not okay and i hope in the next update in the next version the maybe the developers will introduce the option to change the inventory from this one to a classic one to have an option for those players who want to play with the classic inventory or with the, this one so the only advantage that i see is the weight so this is the only thing that so you can carry more and you can um, you can have more items in uh, more items and you call you can collect from box crates and so on but i don't know if that's very okay so they sacrifice the user friendly for the size but i don't i don't know this i think they do they did it in a very wrong way and i hope uh next time when they come with the update they will return to the classic ones the classic inventory so until then uh thank you very much for watching and i hope this video will, will help you very much to understand this very very annoying i don't know no, it's not annoying very very complicated uh inventory thank you very much for watching and this is gaming hangar out bye bye